if you've ever wanted to throw your opponent off, I think I have this game for you. Most people are prepared for the halfback toss out of formations like the high form, single back bunch, and single back tight slots. Not many people are going to expect you to have a toss from a trips formation, especially when it comes from a gun set. If you want to add some unique plays to your arsenal, you're going to want to stick around for this video. Let's get it. So we're in the Packers playbook as you can probably tell by the green logo and the, and the big G. And the formation and play that we're going to talk about is from the gun open flex. And the two plays are the halfback dive and the halfback toss. They're from a gun open flex formation, which has pretty good personnel. It has three wide receivers, one tight end, and one running back. You can use that same personnel to audible to different formations. My favorite ones to go to are the gun doubles flex. They have good plays like the PA stutter post. It has the PA dagger and the flanker dig. I also like the audible to the gun tight offset tight end, which was pretty popular in the beginning of the year. And I'm sure people still use it, but it's not the most popular formation or as super popular it was before. So from the gun open flex, I almost went into the gun open flex week. We're going to start off by showing you how I use the halfback toss against the 335 odd crossfire blitz. So you can see here we have the crossfire blitz set up. The crossfire isn't as OP as it was. I mean, it's still a pretty good blitz. It just got a little nerfed because the contains got taken out. So it's a little less glitchy, but it's still a six man blitz with a looping linebacker. It's, it's still dangerous. It's not something to be taken lightly. So when you run in a play like this, whenever, whenever I want to run the toss, I normally will run it to the side that has the DB on the blitzing on the outside. So you see here, this nickel defender on the outside, and mainly because a lot of times the user defender will have his user in this side, so a toss to the right will throw him all the way off. But in general, it looks like the DB is going to be able to stop the run, but from this set, the slot receiver is going to do it like a little down block, or one of the pulling blockers are going to be able to block that DB, and then they'll get to the next level. You see that down block by the slot receiver there, you follow your blocks, and now you can get wide open to the outside. It's pretty effective against a lot of other defensive sets. Obviously, I don't have the time to put all the defensive sets and different types of formations you want to run it against, but I definitely recommend you guys experimenting with this against the different defensive formations you see online, but it's pretty good, especially against this one. I'll show you guys how I run the dive against this in a second. But you see here, we get that pull. You just have to wait for your blockers. You don't want to hit acceleration until you know you're able to hit open field and get out there. So now let's go ahead and flip the run to the left. Now one of the other things I like about this formation is that it looks like other formations when you make certain motions and you can really confuse your opponent. So if you wanted to motion your tight end to the left, now you got a three by one set. And if you leave your tight end in, but motion your slot receiver to the other side, now it's a double set. So when you go from the gun up and flex set to you make it look like a double set, now your opponent doesn't know if you actually audible to like the gun doubles flex or if you're just still running the same formation. So you can audible your slot receiver over and still run that toss to the outside. And you know, just stuff like that. But when I run into this left side here, you see when I run into the side with this linebacker, where is he at? This linebacker here, Kennard. Whenever I'm running this formation against the 335 uh, crossfire and I'm, I want to set up the play to where it's on the same side as that linebacker, I normally don't run toss because he's in a position to where he's outside my tackles but he's going to be able to cut inside of my pulling blockers and he'll shut the run down. So I run the halfback dive and it looks just like this. It's a normal halfback dive. It's nothing crazy, but it's a very good run. That's a solid four yards and I had terrible run stick. We're going to go ahead and actually set up the play again. I'm going to set up the defense real quick. But the halfback dive, especially in that set, is actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and reset my offensive play. I hate that I, sometimes it won't let you audible as fast as you want to. But this is the things we got to do in order to get this video out. So we're going to go ahead and go to the halfback dive and now we're going to flip it. So your opponent, if you're flipping the play constantly and then you're changing the way the formation looks up, you're going into the gun tight, you're going into the gun doubles flex, your opponent shouldn't be able to pick up on what you're doing every single time. But again, we have the halfback dive. It's a pretty good dive. You get it, go ahead and get out there and get you some yards. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tease or show you guys some of the passing plays 
are some of the ways that you can use the passing plays from this formation. Now if you're new to this channel and you find this video useful, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. So the main two passing plays that I like to utilize out of this formation is the Z spot and the X seam. And I'm going to show you guys why I like to use these plays out of this formation in just a second. So I know this video was about the running plays and that is the main focus. But to help the running plays, you got to have some type of passing plays or your opponent is just going to run commit every single time and you're not gonna be able to get any yards, even no matter how good your run is. If they run commit, they send all 11 in the box, you're not gonna be able to run against them. So, obviously in this formation, just to give you guys some, some, maybe some help with your creativity, the Z spot here, not only is it a good play to run by itself, but remember that motion that I was talking about earlier? Now it was like a double, and now that corner route turns into a post. And the same thing with the X seam. You see here, the X seam has a crossing route, which is actually pretty good on its own. But once again, if you motion it, now go ahead and motion over. Now you have a deep in route to the outside. And with a few adjustments, it can look pretty close to the flanker dig that's in the normal gun doubles. So your opponent's gonna see one setup and now you run one play. He think it's gun doubles, it's gun open plays. You can do a lot of trickery with that, but it all starts with the runs. The halfback toss and the halfback dive to get your opponent all discombobulated. Now I had a running video from the Arizona Cardinals that I posted last week. It's a pretty good run that you can use against this formation and other meta formations. I believe it's from the pistol bunch tight end. You're gonna see a little clip of it in the bottom left corner and I'll throw a card up in the top right corner so you guys can check that out. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. You know what I'm saying? This is a unique formation that I haven't seen that many times online. And I figured that if we can get something going out of this formation, maybe we can develop like a little scheme with running and passing and use the other formations to get us a unique scheme and get away from the gun bunches and the trips tied in that everybody else is running. So at the end of each video, I like to start a dialogue. What is your unique play or unique formation that you guys use? use what do you guys use that you don't see anybody else doing let me know in the comment section so i can get to start stealing them schemes but anyway appreciate you guys showing up i'll see you guys around next time i'm out